Hi, my name is Mani Malarvanan. In this video, we are going to see how to log into Analytic Kit platform and start using the tool. Uh, once you go to the website dpa.analyticit.com uh, slash login, you will see the user ID password screen for you to enter. If you already have an account, you can use it to enter. Uh, if you don't have one, you can just create an account and create a new account and then log in. So let's log in. Okay. Uh, once you have a, once you have successfully logged in, if you are coming for the very first time, then obviously you won't see these two screens. Uh, you are currently, you are recently viewed analytics and newly seen visitors and the record, uh, recent recordings. Uh, you won't even see anything. So you have to create uh, all the graphs using the tools, analytic kit tools, and you can start uh, storing and monitoring your user activities. So in my case, I already have a test user I created uh, some time back, and I also put the JavaScript um, on a website to start collecting the information. So again, in my previous videos, I have explained uh, uh, how to do it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, watch that video again, or you can just uh, send us an email. Um, let's talk about the app dashboard. See the app dashboard is the place where you can create, uh, use the tools, create various graphs, and then uh, start storing it. So that at one screen, you can able to see um, all the graphs that you have created using the annual ticket platform. Say for example, uh, in this dashboard, in my case, uh, it is showing the funnel tool, growth monitor tool, loyalty lens, um, and then the loyalty metrics, um, and then the trend, uh, and then the trial tool. So we'll go through, again, we'll go through each one of these tools in the later videos uh, where we will uh, see how to create the individual, how to use the individual tools to create the graphs. For now, we will just see what are all the, uh, the tools available and how to navigate the analytic kit website. Um, if you go to dashboards, you can see if the if there is any existing dashboard, you can just uh, see it. By default, this my app dashboard will be created for you when you register. And if you want to create a new dashboard, you can just create it um, and then use it. So again, let's go through all those in the later video. Um, that's the dashboard screen. And then in the analytics, uh, tool, uh, you will see all the analytics that you can create. Um, for example, in the new analytic, you will see all the different types of Web2 tools that you can create um, to monitor the traffic that are coming into your mobile application or website or your uh, D apps. Um, traffic trends, uh, funnel loyalty metrics, trial loyalty lens, and growth monitor. All these tools are all available just by going into the analytics um, uh, menu bar on the side, on the left menu bar. Um, and then in the recording, you will see all the recordings. You can record, say, if you set it, uh, the option to record uh, users uh, coming to your website or D apps you can record how exactly they are using the website or your digital application, and then you can store it and then view it. So let's uh, view one of these record. See, for example, this one, I've just logged in to see um, for the test user, I have created this recording. It shows uh, um, how exactly the user is user use the website whenever they visit. Again, it's a 30 minutes long, so whenever there is no activity, it is just going to sit ideal. You can say the skip activity and you can able to increase the speed um, so that you, it will go through fast and you can able to monitor how exactly the users are using the tool. Um, so in the later on uh, in the separate videos, I will explain how to create this recording um, for now. So that's the recording screen. Um, so there are various recordings uh, that, that are all 
um, stored in annual ticket platform. Let me go through and see a different uh, screen. It's a smaller one. You can see the user activity, how exactly the users are using the screen, um, what exactly the users did on your website. So in this case, they came to this website and they are spending some time maybe reading it or doing some other activity. Um, so that's that's pretty much um, this recording tool. Um, and then the live events, uh, this menu gives you the visitors, those who are coming at this moment uh, for, to your website or your mobile application. Say for example, if you click, uh, if you click this option, then you can able to see uh, the visitors, the, those who are visiting your website in real time. Uh, and uh, again, this is the event. Um, I have explained in the previous videos what exactly the event and visitor, all those informations. So please go ahead and watch uh, those videos uh, if you are not familiar with this, uh, with these terms. So the page view event, you can see many informations like the operating system, browser information, whether they were using a mobile or a desktop and what was the URL they clicked, all the informations you can collect, you can able to create graphs and you can able to create business intelligence uh, about your users uh, visiting your digital product. Um, so let's let's go through the other tools. And then the data organizer. In the data organizer tool, uh, you can see the different how to organize the data that are coming into your website. Say for example, the auto capture is the default event that's being captured. And then you can see the volume information and uh, what exactly the token. Again, we will go through these in greater detail in later video. Uh, for now, you can just concentrate, you can manage all the data that are coming into your website, how to manage those data using this data organizer. Um, so, and say if you open open the event, you can see the properties associated with the event, uh, the timestamp at what time the user uh, visited and what time the user generated this event by doing any activity on your digital product. Uh, all those informations will be captured and then uh, stored in an ticket database. Visitor. So this is the visitor, whether it's a logged in user or a anonymous user using your digital product. Um, so all the users, all the visitors information so we will be logged and it will be given a unique ID so that we can track in the back end. We can track if the user is the same user visiting again and again or a different user so that those informations will provide uh, how sticky your uh, application or your product is uh, or whether uh, if you have a leaky bucket syndrome, say for example, the first day the users are coming in 10, 20, 30, and then the second day, third day, they are slowly dropping off. They're not at all coming again. All the informations uh, you can able to monitor for that, uh, uh, we are we are creating a unique ID and that's being uh, stored here. And also the another feature we have it in uh, analytic kit is that uh, you can export the informations that are available into your um, website, uh, into your local uh, desk uh, in the CSV format. Um, so uh, for example, let's see, uh, let's go through that. It's basically, it's exporting all the all this uh, data and you can use uh, Excel or any other uh, software to view the data to get more details about the visitors that are coming into your website. Um, the group analytics, uh, we are still working on right now. We don't have this enabled, so don't worry about it for now. Okay, and then the cohorts tool. This cohort tool basically you can able to group the users, those who are coming into your website. Uh, for example, I have created a India cohort. In the India cohort tool, I have created uh, the visitors, uh, those who are coming from India. Say for example, uh, in the event, all the event have a property called uh, GOIP country code. And in this, uh, if you just specify IN, then 
all the visitors, those who are coming from India will be captured and grouped in this manner. So you can use this tool to group visitors based on any particular criteria. Again, I will show you how to create individual uh, these tools in the later detail on a separate video. For now, uh, we can just go through what are all the different tools available for you to capture the uh, Web2 data. And then the integration hub, this is for advanced, advanced users. Uh, if we have uh, separate applications to capture many data, um, for example, GeoIP is the application. If you use it, you can able to capture uh, users, geolocation, IP address, country, all the information. So, um, some websites, uh, they don't want to capture those informations because of privacy reasons, then they can disable uh, those these uh, this particular application and also there are multiple other applications we are still working on for example if you want to send your data from analytic kit to say salesforce or to slack there are apps you can create and you can integrate data going to other tools or you can get data coming from different tools to analytic kit all those are possible using the integration hub tool um, and then the campaign setting, uh, this is the very first one. Uh, once you register, you need to do it. I think um, I explained this in my previous videos. Please go ahead and watch those videos uh, uh, if you are not familiar with this information. Okay, the, so far the, the tools I have shown, all those are belongs to Web2 category, Web2 tools. And then in the Web3, uh, we have the two tools right now and also we are working on other tools um, as well. So the community engagement is a marketing campaign, a crypto marketing campaign you can create uh, by clicking this tool. Um, so you can enter the campaign name and then the start date and end date. And also uh, you can enter enter the contract address, token address that you want to uh, monitor um, in Ethereum blockchain. Um, within that, you need to specify what is the type, what type of contract it is. And again, I will go through in detail how to set set, set these uh, campaigns in later videos. Um, for now, I have a, a contract uh, uh, marketing campaign, community engagement marketing campaign I created some time back and to for this video, uh, for this presentation. So I'm showing that information here. So in the, the name of the marketing campaign is the crypto marketing and the start date and then the end date of the campaign and what uh, smart contract address, address of your smart contract and the token address if you have, you can provide that information. So once you save it, every day and night, we go to the Ethereum blockchain, collect all the data that are coming into this smart contract or uh, or the transaction that has this token address. We will collect and we will store all the information in our database. And then uh, you can see various uh, graphs. Uh, again, we'll go through the various graphs, what exactly each graph you can, uh, you can how to create these graphs, all those informations, we can see it later on. But for now you can see this, these are all the informations that are available for you. And uh, if any graph that, you want to see that are missing please let us know and uh, we will definitely add uh, more and more features into uh, this graph graph tools um for example in the last one it sh it shows the total token transfer value over time you can see if your uh, token transfer value is uh, going up or going down based on the token you created uh, when the when you start the marketing campaign and then the transaction total transactions over time whether uh, your transaction for your uh, contract address whether the transaction volume is going up or down all the informations you can see <clears throat> Okay, and that is the community engagement, the marketing campaign. And then in the wallet analytic, so this is basically, see when somebody comes to your website, um, by default, I'll show you that one. By default, if they have a, a wallet uh, plugin integrated into either the Chrome or Firefox, uh, it will show the screen, um, oops, oops, one second. 
so they can enter uh, once they successfully enter that information say i am entering in my case i am entering my password to log into my wallet uh, so once i logged in so once i logged in successfully then that my public address from my wallet is being captured by the analytic kit tool so all the wallet uh, all the addresses that are captured those those informations will be stored in our database and then for that wallet for that public address for the users you can able to see various graphs uh, transaction volume distribution say for example um, again these are all the test data i created for this presentation uh, for this uh, public wallet address you can see the transaction volume um, for for the various uh, addresses that are captured so like that if we have uh, say hundreds of user uh, using multiple wallets and they all have public addresses uh, in ethereum then all those things will be automatically logged and you can able to see uh, the transaction volume distribution gas gas usage so all this information gives you an idea how well the customers your uh, customers are buying the nft or they if they have a different competitors nft all the information so you can able to see using this uh, analytical tool uh, wallet analytic again let's go through each one of them in later detail for now just concentrate these are all the options available for us um, that's pretty much I want to discuss in this video. In the later video, we will go through each one of the tool in greater detail um, so that that will help you how to create those, how to use those tools individually to collect the data, what you need both in Web 2 and Web 3. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye.